Hello students, welcome to the class. In today's class, I am going to discuss how to find the unit on last digit of given number. Specifically, I am discussing last digit or unit digit. So, last digit means what? In any number, whenever you are asked to find the unit digit or last digit, the number must be divided by 10. Last digit means it must be a number from 0 to 9 as. So, whenever you ask last digit, it must be divided by 10 as. If they ask last two digits, find the last two digits of given number means you have to divide it by 100. If they ask three digits, you must divide it by 1000 as like this. Now, we will discuss how to find the unit or last digit of given number. Yes. So, you need to divide this by 10. Okay. Let us start with the example. First one, find the last digit of find last digit of 7 raised to 118. This is your number given. This example is simple. Now, how you are going to solve? As I said, to find the last digit, we need to divide this by 7, uh, 10. And always I said uh, in the last classes, uh, I said whenever you have a high power, we have to start with uh, taking power 1 or power 2. Yes. Now, whenever you consider. So, start. When I said we have to divide it by 10. So, 7 is less than 10. We will start with taking power 2. Yes. So, 7 square is congruent to. 7 square is what? Is 49. Yes. 49 is congruent to. Uh, whenever it, uh, it is divided by 10. Yes. 7. What is the reminder? 49 means it is congruent. 9 more 10. When it is divided by 10, 10 for the 49 is even reminder. This implies what? 7 square is congruent to 9 mod 10. Actually, this is equal to 7 square equal to 49. Mod 10. Now, next. Again, I said you double this. 2 to the 4. So, 7 4 is equal to 9 square mod 10. What it is? It is nothing but equal to 81 mod 10. 9 square is 81. Yes. Whenever it divides by 10, what is the reminder? Reminder is 7 raised to 4 is congruent to reminder is 1. 1 mod 10. Now, our aim is to find the power 118. We will check this divided by 4. So, 4 divides 118. Then, 4 to the 8. We have to check the multiple of 4 such that you should get reminder 1. So, we will check by 4. So, what happens? 38, 4, 9, 36. So, it is 2. This reminder is 2. You can't expose. We have got 7 is to 4 is congruent to 1 more 10. Now, we will try to express 118 in terms of uh, 4 and 8. Yes. Now, you have got when you divide this by uh, 118 by 4, 29 divided and it is 2 is the reminder. So, now, I will try to express this. 118 as so 118 can be expressed as 4 into 29 plus 2 as yes? so I will write it as 7 raised to 118 can be written as 7 raised to 4 to the power 29 into 7 square. So we have all this. This is what 7 is to 429 
7 raised to 4 is 1 mod 10. So, 1 raised to 29 is 1 only. So, it is congruent to 1 mod 10. And 7 square into this dot is into 7 square is what? 7 square is 9 mod 10. So, it is congruent to 9 mod n. Yes. Multiply the reminders. So, 7 raised to 1, 1, 8 is equal to 9 into 1. 9 mod 10 as 9 is less than 10. So, obviously, reminder is 9 only. Therefore, the last digit is 9. So, last digit of 7 raised to 1, 1, 8 is 9. So, we will check one more example. Find the unit digit of, do we know, we have to start it from square. So, 7 square is 9 mod 10. Obviously, we need to divide by 10 only, yes, 9 mod 10. Then, 7 raised to 4 is congruent to 1 mod 10. Already, you know that it is 81, so it is 1 mod 10. Now, we will divide this score by uh, 2013 by 4. 2013 by 4, what will you get? 20, so it is 1, 13, so it is 0, 4 is a 12, I'm sorry, 4, 3 is a 12, so it is 1, remainder is 1. So, you can express So, what happens? 7 is to 4, you got the same remainder as 503, you will get the remainder as 1. So, 1 mod, so it is 7 is to 4 raised to 503 is what? 2012. 7 is to 2012 is congruent to 1 mod 10. And already 7 is 7 raised to 1 is congruent to 7 mod 10 only because 7 is less than 10. Therefore, 7 raised to 2013 is what is nothing but 7 raised to 2012 into 7 raised to 1. Yes, but 7 raised to 2012 is congruent to 1 mod 10 into it is 7 mod 10. Therefore, 7 raised to 2013 is congruent to 7 into 1, 7. 7 mod 10. So, what it implies? It implies the unit digit is 7. The unit digit is 7. If you want to check, I used both the numbers with the base. 7 only. If you want to use another number, then check check that. Hmm? So, press 254. Yes. As I said, since 8 is less than 10, so we will start it from 2, uh, 8 square. 8 square is 64. Yes. We will write once again. So, it is congruent to what? When it divided by 10, so 4 is even. Reminder so 4 mod 10. So, what it means 8 square is congruent to 4 mod 10. Yes, no. Then double this 8 square whole square means 8 raised to 4 is congruent to 4 square is 16 mod 10. When it divided by 10, 6 is the remainder 6 mod 10. This 8 raised to 4 is congruent 6 mod 10. So, now we will divide our number 254 by 4. So, 4 into 6, 24, 14, 4 into 3, 12, this 2. Now, you can express 254 as 
multiple of 4 3 if you 8 raised to 254 it can be written as 8 raised to 4 to the power 63 into 8 raised to this is nothing but 8 raised to 252 plus 2 that is 8 raised to 252 into 8 raised to 2 yes. 8 raised to 4 raised to 63 is what? This 6 mod 10. Yes, it is congruent to 6 mod 10 into 8 raised to 2 is congruent to 4 mod 10. Yes, it is 4 mod 10. So multiply the remainders. It is 24 mod 10. Again, when it divided by 10. The remainder is 4. So, 4 mod 10. So, 8 raised to 254 is congruent to 4 mod 10. What it implies? The unit digit or last digit is 4. The last digit 8 raised to 254 is 4. This is how to find the unit digits of given number when base is uh, single digit. We try by uh, taking one more example that is find the last digit of find the last digit of 13 raised to 37. Yes, how you are going to find this 13 raised to 37. Again, we have to divide this by 10 only. Since you have a base as a two digit, start it from power one only. Division is by ten only because you are finding the last digit. Yes. So, but start it with power one. So thirteen is congruent to when you divide by ten, it is what three more ten. Yes, thirteen more ten is nothing but thirteen is congruent. To 3 mod 10. Yes. Now, square it. 13 square. 13 square is congruent to 13 square is 3 square mod 10. That is 9 mod 10. Yes. Now, so 9 remainder is a big one. I need the power is high that is why uh, in the first class previous classes I have mentioned the if the remainder is high you can take either positive or next one is 9 difference of this 10 minus 9 is minus 1 is yes. to make it 10 we have to add so it 9 is equivalent to minus 1 so minus 1 mod 10 yes you can write 13 square as congruent to 9 mod 10 or you can write it as minus 1 mod 10. Now, again square it. Increase the power. 13 raised to 4 is congruent to what? Minus 1 raised to square mod 10. So, it is nothing but plus 1 mod 10. Yes, we have got 4, 2 and 1 power. So, it is enough to write the, express the 37. We will express 37 in terms of these powers. So, 13 raised to 37 can be expressed as 13 raised to 37. In terms of 4 means 4 into 9 is 36. Yes. If we add 1, it becomes 37. Yes, it is nothing but 13 raised to 4 raised to 9 into 13 raised to 1 that is 13. This is congruent to what 13 raised to 4 is 1 mod 10. 1 power 9 is again 1. So it is congruent to 1 mod 10 into what? Into 13. 13 power 13 power 1 is what? It is congruent to 3 mod 10. Yes. So it is 3 mod 10. So, again multiply the reminders, it is 3 mod 10. 
so 13 raised to 37 is congruent to 3 mod 10 therefore last digit of 13 raised to 37 is 3 is this is how to find unit digit of the given numbers try these examples for Check. practice One if you are not yet subscribed my channel do subscribe for further notification of my videos till then take care thank you